Okay. Okay, uh, yes, uh, the fracking involves uh, drilling down a mile and then horizontal a mile. Uh, how they get the gas out is they put water down there and sand and chemicals and that's uh, it's an aggressive way of getting the gas out. Uh, the sand is to keep the, fr uh, the, the fracks open and uh, then the gas comes back up the pipe. Uh, the flow back fluid or the, the toxic soup that comes back up is about 30 to 40 percent comes back up the pipe again afterwards. Uh, uh, and 60, that means 60% is still left down the well. We don't know where that goes. And if you ask anybody, everybody to a man and a woman say, water will find a way. Now what's it going to find a way to? Back up to the surface, back to another a well, an abandoned well, a caves. We don't know what's down there, you know. Uh, and then they've got to dispose of it. Now in America, disposing of the fracking fluid it's causing more earthquakes than the actual fracking itself. Because what they've got to do is called injection, uh, injection, uh, what's it called, fracking injection. Yeah, the I get the idea, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, and that's actually causing more earthquakes than the, yeah. the, the fracking itself. Because yeah. they're also using old mine shafts, they're actually drilling holes to get rid of it, because there's so much of it. Yeah. And they can't treat it, it's very expensive to get to, to, to treat. And you can't treat it, all you can do is dilute it. So, I mean, this is just one aspect of, uh, it, uh, this is one aspect of uh, the dangers of fracking, okay? And then you've got the leaking methane, you've got it coming up the pipes, you've got the uh, well integrity, you've got the integrity of the cement. Because if you remember, it's only, it's only a thin piece of cement, it's only a thin piece of steel. But the pressures they're putting down there makes it contract and go back in again. And as you know, you can't contract you can't contract glass. You try and break you can't bend glass, you can't bend cement. The integrity of the cement goes. So if you're gonna keep putting pressure down, it's gonna contract and go back in again. That damages the well. Six percent of the wells, this is by their own the industry uh, measurements, six percent of the wells fail on completion. So the brand new well, as soon as it's completed, six percent fail. This is the best bit. This is the crux of it. That figure is rising. It's more like 9%. So they're not even learning. They're not even learning the facts. They're not even getting better at it.